Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're Dos Cavazos, and today we are starting Casey on the Alien franchise. Even though I'm biased against Predator, or for Predator, <laughs> I like the Predator, <laughs> yeah. so these aliens, they're gonna have to take do a lot to win yeah. me over, because I stand Predator. He's you, my boy. Yeah, if you haven't already seen that, we reacted to Prey, actually, before yeah. Predator. They're both on the playlist. You can check them out in the link down below. Uh, but we're working our way up to Alien vs. Predator. We're not gonna watch every single film in the franchise. We're going to watch the first two Aliens. We do know... Oh, I've seen Alien and Aliens, but I was like really young when I saw them, so I don't remember all the details about them. I know the general premise. I'm not telling Casey anything, obviously. This is her first time watching it. But after we get done with these first two movies, then we're going to go to Alien vs. Predator, and then Casey might want to re-watch Prometheus because she yeah. saw it as a kid, but yeah. she didn't know it was connected to the Alien franchise. Yeah, I saw it when I was like 13, and I remember liking it. I don't really remember much details. I think I vaguely remember how it ends. Yeah. Um, and I like kind of remember certain things, but like not, you know, it's like different when I, I'm like, oh, like I didn't even know that was like an alien's like prequel. I don't know what prequel. I yeah. Mean, Origin story. Yeah. Honestly, I saw it once, Prometheus, like we're getting into Prometheus now. I saw it once when I was younger. I thought it was okay. I I was like going into it, obviously you've already seen it, but I was yeah. going into it expecting to see more about, you know, the aliens, and I didn't really get a chance to see that. Um, so I thought it was just, you know, whatever. Like they made a sequel to it called Alien Covenant, which I know oh. you haven't seen. Yeah, I mean, I it's... I've not seen that. Yeah, so maybe we'll get Casey to watch that. There's a part of me that kind of wants us to possibly watch the Predators movies, too, from, like, I think it's 2010. Um, I don't think he was the director, but I know Robert Rodriguez produced it, I think. Um, mostly just because I don't remember it too much, and I feel like it kind of gets more into, like, the Predators, like, lore and backstory. Which is backstory. all I want in life. And Casey no, loves the Predators. I'm, like, obsessed yeah. with the Predator. <laughs> I have an unhealthy relationship with the Predator. This it's is been just like, like uh, Darth Vader all over again. <laughs> she simps for Vader, she simps for the Predator. But, yeah, for me, the is, I think it would be worth the rewatch after I get through all of this just because now like I actually will understand because you appreciate it yeah now. when I watched it when I was 13 I was like ooh aliens like ooh kind of scary like ooh thriller and <laughs> I like my 13 year old self was like into like I was in my like thriller psychological thriller era so I was like all excited about it or whatever but you didn't know how it connected to yeah. like, the, the larger universe <laughs> yeah so if enough people comment down below like hey Casey watch Prometheus again mm. then I'll do it but also I'll probably just do it anyway you know? but like you know <laughs> like do it so that I know like, yeah. you want to see it it kind of reminds me of uh, when me and Casey first started dating she had never seen the Marvel films and I took her because the movie came out to go see Civil War and she yeah. watched it and like she thought it was good but like she had no idea yeah, how it connected I to like know. the greater universe which m knowing that now I'm like what's wrong with you like <laughs> what the heck well for context we went back and I made her watch yeah. every single film yeah. in the MCU and now, after that and now I like you know <laughs> having the context it's just like weird to you know go back once you have knowledge about something that you didn't realize and, yeah. and I'm like why like, did I not just appreciate that more obviously but yeah I mean maybe Prometheus or maybe I like won't like because I know some people like didn't like it that much and some people did yeah um I guess we'll see you know that's the the cool thing about a rewatch all right well if you haven't already don't forget to like and subscribe and check out our patreon if you want to see our full-length reaction to this film we also do have a second channel Dos Cavazos IRL where we do vlogs and other non-reaction content and if you want to check that out the link's down below all right let's jump into this movie It was like the opening of like the OG Star Wars. Films. I was literally like in my head, being like, "Don't compare to Star Wars, Casey. Don't compare to Star Wars. People are gonna freak out." Well, I saw the trivia that really Scott. That was one of the movies that he was inspired by. All right. So that it, it, it did totally remind me of Star Wars, like OG. With the Star Destroyer yeah. just like going, yeah. <laughs> Are they like in t like pods? Mm -hmm. Like those sleep pods? I mean, I don't feel like it's anything that's, you know, created now, but yes, sleep pods mm -hmm. or something for you to travel to. It reminds through space. me of that. I mean, this movie would have came out years and years and years later, but the one with Jennifer Lawrence and what's his face? Chris Pratt? Oh, I never saw it. I don't know what you're talking about. <gasps> you know, I've never seen that, I think. I've oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> Do we need to show Anthony that movie? <laughs> Everyone watching this probably hates that movie. I'm just kidding. It's so good. I forgot what it was I called. I liked yeah. it. Yeah, the one where they're in space. 
Anthony also hasn't seen Interstellar. Yell at him in the comments to watch it. <laughs> so how long have they been under? Honestly, I have no idea. How do you know what year this is? This also kind of reminds me of The 100, the show. Never saw it. I mean, all these would have came after, so I feel like you can Maybe tell. Maybe they took inspiration. Yeah, when you watch alien. early movies, you can kind of see like, oh, you know, kind of how the beginnings of sci-fi and stuff started to where it is later on in the future. It's kind of interesting to look at it that way. I used to want to be an astronaut, and then I developed anxiety. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, that was not going to happen. <laughs> Maybe we could reach out to Elon. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I'm afraid of the force it takes to get into space. Yeah. It, like, I think hurts from what I understand. You want to be one of the first people to go to Mars? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I can't handle that G-force or whatever it is. What did it say 2037? Did it say the beginning? Mm. Oh, it's the story mother. It's crazy, that's only 15 years from now. <laughs> At their time, it was like... 79, 21, 50, 58 years? Wow. What's happening now, babies? Well, some of you may have figured out we're not home yet. We're only halfway there. So they woke up too early? Hmm. What kind of a transmission? Acoustical beacon that uh, repeats at intervals of 12 seconds. SOS. I don't know. Human? Probably the freaking alien. Mm. Any systematized transmission indicating a possible intelligent origin must be investigated. I want to hear. We don't know that's intelligent. I want to go home and party. <laughs> Penalty of total forfeiture of shares. You got that? <laughs> you gotta follow the rules. I right, was going in. Yeah. It's in like the fine print, the bottom of the uh. contract. Money's safe. Let's take it. Roll 92 degrees, port your. Prime the port. Wow. I'm honestly like amazed at how great this movie looks. For the For time. 1979. I mean, I know there was like some great movies around that time period, but like, I'm just like, Wow. It looks so good. Like it was ahead of its time. Mm. Ah, oh my gosh. Was that because it didn't land on steady ground? <laughs> like that was very violent. It's a whole breeze. Uh oh. There's like, how did that happen though? Mm -hmm. At least 25 miles. Get started on the four panel. I'll be right down. What the hell is she coming down here for? You better stay the fuck out of the runway. Yeah, I'd like to see what. <laughs> <laughs> All the other channels are dead. Kick on the floods. Well, that's freaky. Well, Mother says the sun's coming up in 20 minutes. How far away from the source of transmission? Uh, northeast. Just under 2,000 meters. Walking distance? <laughs> this guy right here looks so familiar in the bottom right hand corner. Was he the priest in Fifth Element? Maybe. It sounds like him. It kind of looks like him. Obviously, it was like 20 some years earlier. So, I mean, it could have been him. I'll try settlements. Anything else? Yes. It's which we also reacted to on this channel. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> that has to be him. That voice is like really... <laughs> Might have been like, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going out there. It's so quiet out inside and so loud outside. Oh, I love that. 
So good. It's the little things. The little know? things. <laughs> you fabulous director, you. Ridley Scott. If you have any trouble, I'll be on the bridge. Putting <laughs> 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 that transmission through ECIU. Uh, mother hasn't identified it yet. You mind if I give it a shot? Please do. Are those Converse? <laughs> Is that what they're gonna look like in 15 years? <laughs> Just clicked in my mind that they'd like have a cat on. <laughs> like, was it sleeping too? Like, it's the team mascot. <laughs> where was it? This whole I would time? imagine probably. Like, like who would be feeding it? Who authorized them to bring a cat <laughs> on the ship? That's like the thing in uh, Prometheus, but it was originally from this, right? To be honest, I do not remember. <laughs> I think so. Like I said, I was like 13, so that was like... I was older, but I still don't remember. Like what we saw in Prometheus, because it's still kind of a blur to me, and mm -hmm. I honestly was a kid when I saw 12 this. 12 years so. ago. Oh my gosh, that took me this long to do the math. <laughs> was it 2010? I, I don't know. 12 years ago? I don't feel like it was later, but regardless, Maybe it was it's 14. been a while. I was definitely not 15. <laughs> like, that was that much. <laughs> between 14 I and just, 15, I was definitely not I 15. I know where I was in life, but it wasn't like <laughs> <long before this. laughs> It was like, oh, take me back to when I was 15. <laughs> <laughs> By then, I was in, like, my Marilyn Monroe movie era. <laughs> At that age, I was into zombies. <laughs> That means the aliens are gonna be in here. I feel like this is the ship from Prometheus, it is. or like you know what it looked like, or want like a similar designed one. Like honestly, I need to rewatch. Were Prometheus there several with you. like the, alien ships out there? You know, I don't remember. No, Prometheus this one was, was a blur. One. <laughs> the one thing I remember about Prometheus is literally the final scene, which I won't tell you if, in case you, like, don't remember. Yeah. But that's, like, the one vivid part of Prometheus to me. I remember, I think. So, they needed to, like, come make contact with or well, they check were getting, out like, this thing. Yeah, the but signal. I feel like getting out of the ship and going to this unknown thing was, like... It was their contract. That's very risky. Whoever wrote this damn contract. <laughs> like, I mean, this is kind of like, whoa, like, do we really, like, this freaking horseshoe looking ship. <laughs> oh my gosh. It looks like a, a body part. In <laughs> this looks like, I don't know, trachea. <laughs> trachea? I don't know. Stupid contract. Honestly, it was so dumb. It was like literally dumb. Should have went back to sleep and kept on, kept kept on going. <laughs> Just when you report back, ah, it was a malfunction. <laughs> Come on down here. Something different down here. I don't know what it is, but there are mm. not. You know, like yeah. is it like part of the contract? Be like, hey, if you're out on this mission and there is intelligent life or a signal coming from somewhere you you're required to stop because of that reason maybe like because you're i feel like searching or whatever i feel like if they already knew that there was they'd yeah. be less likely to like do yeah. it you know technically at this time the predator would have like already came to earth yes so they would have known but did they know about the predator or was it like more of a folklore okay so this feels like prometheus a little bit tell me arnold wouldn't have reported back <laughs> like oh i fought this dude he was tundrally okay yes prometheus. yeah prometheus ah yeah this is getting me excited. I'm getting hyped. <laughs> it's like my past self has re-collided with my future self, and it has all came to this <laughs> moment. Watching Alien. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, 13 years later. I feel like you keep changing the years. <laughs> I don't know, I can't, you know, I can't do math. That's my, like, fatal flaw. <laughs> Where are the aliens? Uh, on 
bones have been outward. Like he exploded from inside. Oh. Like, uh... Like who? Like... Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. I wouldn't even have come into this. Y'all aren't gonna do shit. that because obviously the movie passed the tape plates, <laughs> so. Are like, we not gonna. Like, like uh, this looks hey, scary! Guys. They're investigating me. <laughs> See, this is why I can't be an astronaut! Mm -hmm. <laughs> my fight or flight would kick in and then my flight would kick in. <laughs> <laughs> That's a right face! Well, see what you That's an mean? alien! Yeah, that's it. It's calcified. It's gonna crack open. Do you remember? Do you know what the aliens look like? Yes. Okay. What do you? Well, do you know what like you know Prometheus probably looks like? Those people in Prometheus. That's not the aliens. And then I also am like, why was their ship just here like this? Did they crash? Like what the heck? Is that why they're all calcified? I feel like you need to rewatch Prometheus, but so do I. You okay down there? Can you see anything? I don't know, a cave. A cave, a cave of some sort. But I... This does look like the inside and like bones, you know? Mm -hmm. I'll just like go back to the ship, be like, yes, um, we looked control, at it. aliens exist, we saw their skeletons, um, pay us. I know, and that is it. Did our job. It's like, they're not gonna go check, you know, <laughs> you can tell them whatever. Now your fucking ass go out there then. <laughs> Y'all did it, you were there, that was we'll it. Take, we took a couple pictures, it's a guy in a chair, <laughs> ship that looks like freaking bones. <laughs> and it's full of... Leathery objects like eggs or something. Mm. Eggs. Oh gosh, it never goes well when there's eggs. <laughs> <laughs> then you just know they're trying to breed. Ew, aliens lay eggs. I bet predators don't lay eggs. <laughs> okay, I just slipped. A lot of eggs. Oh my gosh. This would have been a big fuck no for me. <laughs> like, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Like, I'm not gonna deal with whatever that would come out of this. Oh, but it's totally gonna easily crack. That looks so brittle. Squishy, squishy, <laughs> squishy and... <laughs> That's an alien. Well, yeah. <laughs> I feel like pieces of Prometheus are coming back to me, but like I'm still... But maybe, hey, you know, that's a good thing. Because mm -hmm. now I can like learn from this movie. You piece it together mm -hmm. as you go. Here. We're clean. Let us in. What happened to Kane? Something has attached itself to him. We have to get him to the infirmary right away. Open the hatch. Wait a minute. If we let it in, the ship could be infected. You mm -hmm. know the quarantine procedure. 24 hours for D. Here, look at, look at Ripley, you know, being smart. <laughs> I can't do that, and if you were oh. in my position, you'd yeah, be Ripley. Ripley, this is in order. Open that hatch right now. Do you hear me? Yes. I mean, she was right. I can already tell. I just know already. <laughs> like, come on, you're letting in a creature? In the hatch open. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my gosh! Broke through the glass. Oh, yeah, he's totally dead. You're gonna be dead if you're not already. Or you're gonna be weird! <laughs> My God. Oh my gosh. It attaches to faces? This is what you call a face hugger. <laughs> oh, I 
feel like I've heard that before, and I feel like I heard it in Rick and Morty. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how you, like, all these references you probably could have picked up in other things in pop culture. Then you're, like, coming back to it and finding the original, like, thing years later. Gosh, why are there so many different alien things? You're gonna do what? Finger. Now try and get his finger on just a minute. It's squeezing on that. This is why I like the Predator. He's straightforward. He knows what he wants to do. You went off without tearing his face off with it. We'll have to take a look at him inside. Right. So is it like a parasite? I'm really um, take your mask off. amazed at how well they're keeping their cool in this situation. Like got down his throat. I would suggest it's feeding him oxygen. Paralyzes him, puts him in a coma, and keeps him alive. Now, what the hell is that? It's gonna control him. Oh, Ew. Oh, no! That's strong. Acid. The blood. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Next deck. Thing. I mean, <laughs> how can you stop that? Like, you, you don't dare kill it. What about Kane? Here's your pen, bro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, the sooner we patch this thing up and get out of here, the sooner we can go home. This place gives me the creeps. <laughs> mm, that makes me nervous because they got him in there with that thing on him. Oh no. Face? Are they analyzing the blood? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to do science. <laughs> <laughs> Ash, when Dallas and Kane are off the ship. <laughs> oh, yes, I forgot. You also forgot the science division's basic quarantine. No, that I didn't there you forget. go, Ripley. Mm -hmm. I'm with Ripley on this one. Yeah, lay down the long dick of the law. Like, sorry, dude, but you got an alien on your face. <laughs> Maybe I've jeopardized the rest of us, but it was a risk I was willing to take. Not exactly out of the manual, is Ripley's a badass. <laughs> My responsibility is as seriously as you, you know. You do your job, and let me do mine. Yes? Like, the way she approached him? Yeah. Like, kind of making him... Making him make himself sound yeah. stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Something's happened. Mm. Serious? Interesting. Where is it? Well, I don't know. Oh, wait, it came I'm off? Oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> I see, this is what I knew. <laughs> we should have brought him on the dang thing. I mean, I know it's easy to say because they have, you know, a relationship with him. He was part of the crew, he was part of the ship. But. I mean, there's protocols for a reason. Yeah. Even though it's stupid, this protocol to go check things out in the first place. That was mm -hmm. why we were here. But honestly, they could have just checked it out, saw it, and then left. <laughs> we have to go in. Kane? See you. Oh, no! Oh, my gosh, you're you throwing thing off! Not you, Sigourney. <laughs> In the other what? Oh, can it not like somewhere. survive? Oh, Cover with oh, it, will you? Or it transferred. That's a reflex action. Looks like a crab. Well, we've got to have a look at this. Or a weird spider. Ew, it looks gross. Ash, are you kidding? This thing bled acid. Who knows what it's going to do when it's dead? I think it's safe to assume it isn't a zombie. <laughs> Dallas. How come I gotta change my mind? All right, I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to change your mind, Dallas. I just want you to listen. Will you listen? Ripley's the only sensible yeah. person. <laughs> We're blind on B and C decks. The, the reserve power system. Oh, no, that's a bunch of horseshit. We can take off without that. Oh, yeah, we can. You think that's a good idea? Look, I just want to get the hell out of here, all right? Uh, I feel like there's, like, a, several decisions that are going to be leading to, like, problems down the road. You can just feel it. 
Like, oh dang, we needed to see A and B deck. Like, oh, we should have thrown off the lobster. <laughs> the lobster? First it was a spider, now it's a lobster. <laughs> I'm just waiting for like crap to hit the fan. <laughs> like it's too good right now. It's too calm. According to my calculations, based on time spent getting to and from the planet. Just give me the short version. How far to Earth? Ten months. Ten wow. months. Oh my gosh. Yeah, almost a year. I think you should come and see Kane. Has his condition changed? It's simpler if you just come and see him. Oh. What is that supposed to mean? It's gonna be all weird. Oh. How are you doing? Oh. You seem too normal and it's freaking me out. Mm. Oh, terrific. Next silly question. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know about this. Anyway, where are we? Right here. We're on our way home. Yeah, back to the old freezerinos. <laughs> oh, no. I've got to have something to eat before. <laughs> he looks like he has, like, crazy eyes, like... Yeah, that's a break time. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's gonna like kill everyone in their sleep or something. <laughs> I just don't, like, how was nobody else like, like, oh, he had this thing on his face yeah. and now he's, it just got hey, off. He's fine. He's he fine. wants to eat. <laughs> like, we're not like more concerned. You science officer, you, you should be fired. <laughs> like y'all couldn't at least keep him in the, the room, you know? Mm. Oh, see, here we go. I knew it. Oh, he's gonna get sick. He's gonna spread whatever. Or he's gonna kill. Or he's just gonna die. I don't know. What? Why is he? Why is he acting like he knows something? He's trying to put like a spoon in his mouth so he doesn't like bite his tongue or something. I can't tell. I don't know. Aren't you like not supposed to do that now? I honestly have no I idea. I think I heard that like if something like a seizure, you're like not. Oh, oh. oh, that's not a seizure. <laughs> Is he gonna come out? <gasps> oh my god, what the heck? He like incubated! Naked mole rat. <laughs> well, this dude you know is what? like you, dude. Maybe way too concerned with preserving like some fucking alien oh. shit. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, and this is why we don't be too trusting of things in life. <laughs> <laughs> Always be skeptical. Question everything. Especially if you're in space and you stumble upon a foreign planet. Yeah, and something pops out of your friend's onto chest. Onto your head. <laughs> like, they should have never let him li leave the room. Could have saved him, but le leave him in the room. <laughs> Lock the door. Gosh. Freeze him like the other guys. That was smart. They should have froze him. Then they could have dealt with it, like, in a contained environment on Earth. Yeah, ten months later. <laughs> and then you would have had the sample. Sealed. Anybody want to say anything? That's crazy that he was just like eating and stuff, and then it was like done. Oh, they're jettisoning. Oh, wow. What's that word? <laughs> like jettisoning. Okay, yeah. I was gonna mess it up, but yeah. I mean, he was a dead body. Can't leave it on the ship. Is that a place for that? Huh? I don't know. Could you like freeze it and like you know have a proper yeah, burial? I don't know. I mean, I guess, but like, I guess if you didn't freeze it, it would like rot in like 10 mm -hmm. months, you can't have a dead body. But I mean, they could have froze it and taken it home. I said it, like it was not him. Him? Him home to his family, because he was a person, he was a mm -hmm. human being. People cared for him. Shouldn't diamonds have been plastic, unless it skins thinner than ours. We'll give him a little incentive. I just have to find it. I've taken care of it. Honestly, they are all entirely too calm. Now, anyone see this thing or catch it in the net that Parker is holding on his lap? Parker, I don't want any heroics out of you, all right? Got your fixed wealth module. We did. Is that a net? 
like the space suits. Yeah, I would have asked for something better than a net. That's I like blood. blood. I guess they just like don't like think that it's like they probably think it's like a like a pest or something. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just popped out your friend, like. All right now. Easy. <gasps> oh, the oh it was the cat. Now we might pick it up on the track again. I'll, I'll, I'll go, go and get it. Man. All right, you get him. We'll go on. I mean, maybe we shouldn't bring a, a cat on space travel. <laughs> I mean, Seems inhumane. Yeah. <laughs> it does. Are you gonna be the next to die? <laughs> Probably gonna be that. Anybody who goes off on their own. It's not like a trope in like <laughs> horror films. Yeah. Like, never leave the group. You're gonna get alien. <gasps> oh. Oh. Well, it looks like it's running. <laughs> oh, oh, it like slipped. Oh, it shed. It shed. <sighs> I hope we don't see a dead cat. Oh. Come on, Dougie. Come on, baby. That's okay. That's okay. Come on, baby. Scared for a reason. Okay. Oh, goodness, tentacle. <gasps> so that's the alien. So it grew up <laughs> in yeah. like 10 minutes? Witnessed all of this. Get out of it's there, like, cat. Like no one's gonna believe me. <laughs> no question is, it's using the end house to move around. Could Brett be alive? No. I mean, uh, no. Ripley's the sensible one. <laughs> yes, well, it's adapted remarkably well to our atmosphere, considering its nutritional requirements. The only thing we don't know about is temperature. Okay, what about temperature? What happens if we change it? Let's try. Wasn't it really hot where they were? Insufficient. What? You better take this upon yourself to kill that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, they started this. What are my so. chances? <laughs> well, then what are you good for? You computer? I have better AI in 2022. To Send ads to us on Facebook. <laughs> when we're just thinking about what we want to buy. <laughs> Dallas, hold it a minute. I mean, I, I think I got it. Yes, I've got it. Where? Somewhere around the third junction. Okay, moving on. I'd be too claustrophobic in this. <laughs> yeah. I'd already be, like, freaking out that the thing was on the ship. <laughs> Race the third junction, I'm going down. Mm, what's going on? Every time you hear a noise, like I know. start to increase. Beeps it's never a good faster. sign. Yeah. Oh no. You're gonna have to hold your position for a minute. I I've lost the signal. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look around, are you sure that it's not there? I mean it's got 
<laughs> There's goop. <laughs> goop. Secretions. Predator doesn't secrete. Mm -hmm. Oh god, it's moving right towards you. Uh. Uh. Know what to say. I'm in like, what direction? <laughs> like, can you give me a little bit more, but like advice, information, <laughs> something? This guy is way too stoic. Like about like anything that's going on, you know. Let him wake up! <gasps> <laughs> 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 that's scary. <laughs> I mean, it is supposed to be a horror film. Dang. You could have gave him something more. Mm -hmm. Could have been like, I don't know. <laughs> Anything. Honestly, this is just a horrible situation for everyone. You got a better idea? Yes. I say that we abandon the ship. We get the shuttle and just get the hell out of here. We take our chances and just hope that somebody Lambert. picks us up. Oh, I don't know about that. Hmm. Why don't we trust Rosalind? I'm not going any stronger. <gasps> I'm for killing that goddamn thing right now. Oh my gosh, don't do it. Don't go by yourself. Ash? Any suggestions from you or mother? No, we're still collecting. Is mother the AI? I think so. I find that hard to believe. What would you like me to do? Just what you've been doing, Ash. Nothing. <laughs> I've got access to mother now, and I'll get my own answers. Thank you. Oh, oh shit. You see, Ash is being weird. I knew he was hiding something. I don't trust you, and I don't like you. <laughs> Not the same character you were in The Fifth Element, if that is who you are. This is an, this is an interesting room. Like, what do yeah. all these lights do? <laughs> I was just talking about the AI, but... <laughs> I mean, I feel like this is part of the AI, obviously. This is where the other guy, Dallas, it's, was getting all yeah. the information. So they just take the information from this AI? Like, it just tells them what to do? I'm assuming it's an AI. I mean, it acts like a computer, so it's probably mm. an AI. Doesn't know anything. Ugh. See, this is where computers will never compete with humans. Mm -hmm. What? Wait, what? It's your return of organism for analysis. All other considerations secondary. Crew expendable. Oh my gosh, I hate this Fuck AI. You. What? He's here? Fuck the computer. Fuck the AI. We've seen how Terminator turns out. Fuck Skynet. So did he know this the whole time? That's why he was like so like obsessed with getting the specimen? And I'm assuming they have to follow the computer no matter what. Like fuck the computer. They're like screw that. Can you quit when you get back? Can you just quit? <laughs> well, are you gonna get back? <laughs> That's like the big question. Uh. Like obviously the AI can't like detect nuances and things and. Alien babies and eggs and things. You open the door? <gasps> Why is he creamy? <laughs> <laughs> what is going? He's creamy! <laughs> is he infected or something? Like, it feels like he's an alien, or he's just psychotic. <laughs> I mean, he seems like he has, like, a lot of strength, so... Um, yeah. Did he get hugged by the face hugger thing? <laughs> Get her up! Get her up! Get her up! Oh my goodness! I knew I had to 
didn't like you. <laughs> Ugh, gross. Oh my god, you were an alien the whole time! Ray Wider is at the. Jesus. It's a robot. She's a goddamn oh. robot. <laughs> what? <laughs> I totally didn't notice that at first. I thought it was like the thing was the. Nothing makes. Wait, is this the AI? Oh my gosh, it's still going. What the heck? No wonder you were so weird. Now I don't understand why were you a robot here? See, that looked like alien y. The company sent us a goddamn robot. All I can think of is they must have wanted the alien for the weapons division. The weapons division. Right along. So they wanted something to ensure it got back. <laughs> it's a weird looking robot. Gosh, that's insane. <laughs> I totally did not see that coming. I literally thought it was an alien when I said it. Like, that was so not anything I would have expected to happen. He I was mean, creamy. <laughs> like, I just was like, wow. I honestly did not remember this part at all, to be honest. Bring back life form. Yeah. Priority one. All other priorities rescinded. Of course, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> I repeat, all other priorities are rescinded. You can't think like a human would. There's got to be a way of killing it. How? How do we do it? You can't. Well, don't say that. It's structural. Perfection is matched only by its hostility. I admire its purity. A survivor. Unclouded by conscience or delusions of morality. Don't you not have that either? <laughs> like, I feel like a robot shouldn't have that. It's time to turn Ash off. <laughs> I can't lie to you about your chances. You have my sympathies. You feel sympathy, or are you just saying that? We'll take our chances in the shuttle. Oh. Uh -huh. Blow up the ship. Yeah. That's a, I still can't get over that. I totally did not like. No, never would I have ever saw that coming. That he was a robot. No, I was like not. <laughs> seven minutes seems like too short. <laughs> seems like things are gonna go wrong in seven minutes. So they're gonna rely on the shuttle. Mm -hmm. To like, can oh, it, I don't think it could get can all the way back. Can it get to Earth in ten? Like, if well, the trajectory was for it to get there in ten months, I don't know. The other lady was like, "Hope somebody picks you up," but like, who's just out? Like, mm -hmm. I mean, if there's one ship out there doing runs, gosh, but you would imagine there's a second. But the, still, like, what yeah. are the likelihood of you crossing paths? Like, I mean, gosh. I guess you have to like, you know. Friggin' like factor in the fact of what's the likelihood that this thing's gonna kill y'all. <laughs> I guess. I guess. And... Come here, Charles. Come here. I'm yeah. surprised that cat's not got eight. Also, like, honestly, like, I don't wanna be mean, but fuck the cat. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm sorry, but like, yeah, no. Y'all should have <laughs> never brought a cat to space. Who brings a cat to space? I would never bring my dog to space. Like, what the heck? <gasps> sure. Grab it. <laughs> All right. Well, we got it. So that's good and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Is the alien here, though? Oh, poor Jones. <laughs> you didn't deserve this life, Jones. Mm. Justice for Jones. <laughs> Blame the humans that brought like, you to Who authorized space? you to be here? That's ridiculous. Like, I feel like it should be a breach of contract for them to even have brought a cat into space. Yeah, it should be, like, unethical. Oh. oh my gosh, she's next. She's totally next. If it's only Ripley that makes it off, that's gonna be, like, insane. And Jones. <laughs> It looks so smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Shiny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, 
Oh, they're totally both dead. They're both dead. Oh my gosh. I mean, in all honesty, like, it's a good thing you went for Jones because you probably yeah, would have been there with him. That's true. Maybe Jones had a purpose, <laughs> a greater purpose. You served the greater good. <laughs> to save Ripley. That's crazy. So now she's going to get in the shuttle herself, and I'm assuming go on to be an aliens? Probably. I don't know, I can't tell you. Oh, <gasps> oh my gosh. That's horrifying. Like, to be by yourself in a situation like this. Ugh. Hopefully, there's enough supplies on the shuttle. Instruction system. Mm -hmm. Ten minutes? <laughs> Those instructions were so clear. <laughs> like, I feel like a lot of things are more cryptic. Yeah. Like, thank you for telling us exactly how it is. That's how it should be. <laughs> Danger. The emergency destruct system is now activated. All right, 10 minutes. Spires in T minus five minutes. All right, well, we better get out of here. Jones. <laughs> Jones like does not know what's going on. Yeah. He's just along for the ride. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like okay, I was like if she's looking backwards, something's gonna be in front of her. okay, maybe not. Oh, I don't know. Oh, something's gonna be in front of her, right? Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Anytime someone looks back like that, it's gonna turn around and it's gonna be like alien Global face. Automatic detonation expires in T minus three minutes. Oh crap, okay, well that's to override, but oh, wow. I know it! Distract him with Jones. Oh, oh no, not Jones! Jones, Jones oh, not she doesn't have Jones wait, anymore! I <laughs> <laughs> just left Jones! She left freaking Jones! <laughs> oh shit, Jones! <laughs> That's really... I mean, I probably would have done the same thing, but like, also, I probably wouldn't have pursued Jones, in all honesty, <laughs> if it was like, you know, life or death. It's like she went all to that effort to get him, and then she didn't take him. <laughs> This has to be the countdown before, like, the yeah, override. Yeah, before you can't Okay, so this it. is, like, the halfway point. Because it was five minutes after. Yeah. Wait, are you about to? Wait, you're going to undo it? Why? Can you redo it once you do it? I'm assuming, yeah. Like, give you another extra Opportunity, time? Opportunity, yeah. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is like stressing me out. <gasps> oh shit! You didn't make it! You need to freaking run on the show! Calling unit back on! Mother! Mother sucks. I know, mother is a bitch. <laughs> you can't go to the show! Oh my gosh! <laughs> that's yeah, that's said. how I feel about this mother. But we don't have time to waste. You need to get to the shuttle. Jones can't die for nothing. That's where she needs to go, right? Jones. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, Jones! 
right, well, we saved Jones. I guess he didn't give a fuck about Jones. Yeah, I guess it doesn't care about cats. It was also in the box, <laughs> so. Dang, so she was right there the first time then and had to run back. I mean, it was right yeah. there, so. She was so close. Gosh, how much farther? Don't no, Jones got, <laughs> Jones oh got thrown out. Oh my gosh, poor Jones. Jones deal with that shit. It's <laughs> not a priority at this moment in time. Hey, you made it, Jones. Oh my gosh. The alien better not be in here or I'm gonna die. <laughs> the alien better not be in here or she's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like hiding in the corner, like he he. Mm -hmm. Like go in there. Mm -hmm. The predator would have hid in the corner. The predator's a strategist. Mm -hmm. The predator knows. T it's still so crazy that this film came out like eight or yeah. nine years before Predator. Oh my gosh, she made it like in the nick of time. Are you even gonna, I mean, she's gotta make it, yeah. I feel like she didn't come this far just to blow up <laughs> in the shuttle. 11, yeah. 10 seconds, oh nine, gosh. eight, seven, six, five, four. Gotta clear the blast. Well. Oh, there was like another blast. Residual blast. <laughs> Gotta make sure it's really go gone. Oh my the gosh! Thing, the first, like, you know, we're triple tapping this. <laughs> if the alien didn't die after the three, then like, I don't know what'll kill it. It has to be dead. Unless it's in the shuttle. I don't trust anything. <laughs> I never trust. <laughs> I never trust in movies. It just seems too good to be true. I'm nervous about it. There's gonna be like a. It's like until you see the credits something. roll. Something. And I and know. And then it you goes always on. have an end credit scene. Yeah, that's too. true. <laughs> like there's a sequel for a reason. Like. I don't trust you, Jones. Okay, she's going back under. I'm mm -hmm. guessing she's going back under with Jones. Probably. She has to. I mean, like, Jones ain't gonna survive. Like, yeah, he's gonna starve like to weird. death. the shuttle you could have jettisoned it off and like stayed on the thing if you would have stopped it in time <laughs> she get in the suit ew what is it doing is it just like waiting like To be honest, I don't really know what she's about to do. Is she gonna, she can't go out of the shuttle or maybe this just offers extra protection against it? I don't really know. It's just like in there, <laughs> like all cuddled up. <laughs> <laughs> like this seems like a really nice place. <laughs> I'll take a nap. <laughs> Too bad you can't get it in the freezer. Lucky, 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 lucky. Okay. Oh, 
like the temperature thing, right? Ew. The alien's like, dang, I was just born like yesterday. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. <gasps> okay, yeah, so she was gonna jettison. No! Oh my god, shoot it! <gasps> Alright. Okay, there we go. Let the oh my gosh, are you kidding me? The gun got stuck and it's hanging. <laughs> or is that what she wanted? I don't think that's I don't what think she wanted. Oh, oh shit. I was like, are you gonna drag it back with you? Or okay. Oh, okay, well, you know what? We made the best of the situation. You gotta close this fucking door, though. There we go. I mean, I guess the door's closed because it was just the string. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. Mm -hmm. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Crazy. And Jones. <laughs> and Jones? <laughs> Jones is one lucky fucking cat. Thank you, yeah. You're lucky that this crew cared about you. <laughs> Actually made you a priority. I would have been like, we're all gonna fucking die! Let's get to the fucking escape pod! So what'd you think? I really liked it. I'm still Team Predator in <laughs> terms of Alien versus Predator. Not like the movie, but like, you know, the creatures. <laughs> yeah. I like the Predator more, obviously, but I really liked this movie, like a lot, a lot. Yeah, this movie I think was obviously better than Predator, in my opinion, I, I would say. But I, I still like Predator. I, like That was always my character that I kind of okay. gravitated towards before I ever knew there was like an alien versus Predator thing, which like I said, this thing I believe came out in 79. Yeah. Predator came out in 87. I don't think that there was ever any intention for them to like kind of cross. They were just owned by the same studio and then it eventually kind of evolved from that. I know that there was video games before there actually was an Alien vs. Predator like movie, um, but I don't know, I just, I really like the Predator. Uh, I feel like Casey's gonna find out more about, you know, the aliens uh, as we kind of continue and watch Aliens, but I really like this film. I think that it is slightly better than Predator. Yeah, I mean, it feels weird to compare it to Predator because like it obviously came out first and like had not not really any relation to it you know mm -hmm. but i guess it's like almost become like they're almost synonymous with each other which yeah. is kind of like interesting <laughs> but about alien itself you know it was just like the from where the movie started and then just like to the end of it it was it was just really cool to see it all unfold like the suspense was building and then the robot thing just was like whoa to <laughs> me and then just like the entire end of the movie with like ripley um just trying to i guess survive and then like everybody else dying and like she was the only one. Hmm. Um, it was just really really fun to watch and I really liked Ripley as a character. Yeah. She was very smart. Um, she seemed like she was the only one with any sense <laughs> yeah, on, no this, shit. on this crew and I I feel like she's going to be in the next one and I hope so because like I want to see her again. <laughs> yeah, It's interesting to see Casey's like perspective on it not knowing anything whereas I have like you know that first hand knowledge but I will say going into this what I did remember about this film is that Ripley was the only one to survive. That's what I did remember mm -hmm. at the end of it. Um, as like the movie progressed and started from the beginning, okay, when we saw like the scenes, that obviously was kind of, I wouldn't say it's a reference to Prometheus. Prometheus was a reference to right, Alien. Yeah. But I did remember, you know, the ship and like the whole, like the yeah. guy sitting in like the chair, um, which they ended up referencing in Prometheus fucking like 20 something or 30 something years yeah, which later. It's crazy like now looking back, I mean, because I, I like I said, I don't fully remember exactly what Prometheus was a 
all about. I think I kind of like remember more now after watching this, but like it seems like that was such a small subset of this movie yeah. that they went and made a movie about way later. Which is crazy. About like yeah. that little part, which was kind of not fully even related to like this. Uh, it was just like super cool to mm -hmm. see that they did that. I will say that the, I guess the immediate sequel to Prometheus, I think it's called Alien Covenant. That one has more connective tissue to mm -hmm. like, you know, aliens mm -hmm. in my opinion. But I really like this movie a lot. I'm like a big sci-fi fan. So anytime I see like a good sci-fi film, I'm like, ooh, yeah. And like this one was really good and I, I had fun. And Casey mentioned it early on in this film, but you know, the the way it was shot and the way it felt, it didn't feel yeah. like it was like in the 70s. Mm -hmm. Like obviously when there's like showing space and stuff, okay, you can kind of tell like, okay, it was a little bit more dated there. But when it was on on the spaceship in and of itself and even showing like the the outer parts of the spaceship yeah it didn't feel like it was like so outdated you know mm -hmm. whereas like some other types of films might show that uh but i really feel like what you said this film was ahead of its time yeah it definitely was ahead of its time and i know that it like it was inspired by other films before it like specifically mm. like i think it said like star wars and i think like what else uh, was it space odyssey and, and and i think honestly texas chainsaw, texas chainsaw massacre that's yeah. what it said on the little trivia yeah. When we bought it. So, like, it was inspired by other movies that came before. And it probably did pave the way for a lot of other, you know, movies, ideas, things like that in the future, too. So, with that being said, we are going to watch Aliens next. So, make sure you subscribe to check that out. We do know, which it's weird to say that because I know I've seen this before, but I was still so young when I saw this, that Aliens is one of those special sequels that people consider to be greater than the original, like a la Terminator. And what we've heard, Top Gun Maverick, which we've never seen the Top Gun films. We do plan on reacting to Top Gun Maverick when it comes out. I know that's unrelated to this situation. <laughs> but in the terms of like, you know, sequels, like people consider it to be kind of greater than the original. So I'm pretty excited for that. I don't really remember much I'll at be the all. judge. Casey, will, I guess, will be the judge since it's going to be kind of like an immediate reaction shortly thereafter. I think we're going to react to it next week. So, like I said, make sure you subscribe to check that out. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.